Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is my Vogue style skincare routine. I'm going to use my S-Bar cleanser, which is really amazing. It's got such a lovely smell. What I like about this is that it really blends the skin really beautifully. It's not gritty and you only need like a little bit. You can also leave it on as a mask, which is really cool. I also use mine on my lips because it's a really good way of just getting rid of any kind of dry skin from the morning. So I really massage that in. It smells like kind of jasmine tones, like it's very kind of floral, um, but it really melts really quickly, which I like. It's very close to kind of an Emma Hardy um, Moringa style cleanser, if you've used that one. Now I'm just gonna wash that off with a damp towel. Now that that is done, I'm going to move on to my eyes. The cool thing about all of these products is that they have a really gorgeous marble top, which is really heavy and it just makes it feel really classy. The reason a lot of my products are Espar is because I went for a facial in Glen Eagles last year and I fell in love with them. So this is not sponsored, but I just love it. So I just put on, on a little cotton pad and I'm just going to place it over the eye and I do a few dabs. This just helps with any kind of bags, if anybody's like me, and I naturally have a kind of dark eyeshadow effect on my eye, which is natural, um, but I think that is just, just the way I am. <laughs> it's kind of handy, because, you know, if you don't want to wear makeup, it does look like I've got like an orange eyeshadow on. Next, I'm gonna move on to my toner. So I've kind of toned my eyes, essentially, and now I'm moving on to the Hydrating Floral Spa Fresh Toner. Or the moisturizer, I am using Bobbi Brown's Face Base. I love this stuff, it smells like oranges. It is just so beautiful and I also get through these really, really quickly. So they're amazing. A lot of like celebrities love it and swear by it. I know that Molly May loves it and it's just gorgeous and it also doubles up as a primer. I would say if you have more of an oily skin type, then this one is quite a glowy, it will leave it with a slight sheen. So you could always do like a powder afterwards, but it's so good for just before your makeup. So people, we should never forget our necks. We should never forget our necks because it really is part of the first thing that people see when they look at you. Um, so don't neglect your neck, people. Keep that nice and glowy. But I'm gonna go ahead with my jade roller and just kind of roll just along my jawline. And it really is good for kind of relieving any tension points. It's also very cooling. And you can actually leave it in the fridge. I don't know who really has time for that, so I don't do that. I'm gonna move on to my lips. Now, I'm pretty old school and I still use Carmex. I love Carmex. I think the smell's amazing. It kind of has a kind of like menthol -y kind of minty feel as well, which is really cool. And I also kiss mine and like with COVID, my fingers are not going in that. Other really good um, lip balms, Bobbi Brown Balm as well is another great one, but I love this and I just think it's so cute. Now, you could then go ahead and put an SPF on top. I would highly recommend that. La Roche-Posay is a really, really good one um, and that's brilliant. It has a matte finish, which is really, really good because you don't want another kind of oily step. So guys, that is the end of the skincare routine. I hope that you enjoyed this. And now I would go ahead and put my makeup on top of this and I'm ready and then clean for the day. So go ahead and let me know what you thought of this video. Bye guys, see you next time.